What's up, guys? Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing us our week two match of red season eight in the yellow division, taking on our good pal Nacho and the Detroit Tervolts. Uh, just another match where we're playing Nacho. You know, um, we've actually played quite a few times at this point. You know, the rivalry is definitely in my favor. I think I've only lost maybe. No, I've definitely lost twice. I've lost twice to Nacho. Um, really good friend. And yeah, so I, I'm not uh, super keen on battling friends as much anymore these days because I, I, I don't like the feeling when I win um, or, or when I lose. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited to play Nacho because I think this is kind of a really cool way to test out my team um, f for this season of Red and sort of see where the limits are of the team potentially. So uh, let's talk about his team first. He's got the Celesteela, Latios, Weavile, Primarina, Jolteon, Piliswine, Verizion, Tentacruel, Volcarona, and Sudowoodo. I was half expecting the Sudowoodo to show up as an Entei answer because he pretty much had none after that. You know, his fire resists on his team are Latios, Primarina, Tentacruel, and Sudowoodo. Um, and Latios, Primarina, and Tentacruel all have like under base 90 physical defense. So Bandit Entei kind of just claims a kill every single time it comes in. Uh, I was not actually expecting the Piliswine or the Verizion to come. I thought the Piliswine might come to get up rocks if he really wanted rocks against me. Uh, again, like I said in my team builder and like I said in the last match against TB, I really don't see where the hazard stack is sort of coming from against me. Uh, you know, rocks are like really consistent hazard damage against me. Um, like just because I have poor removal doesn't mean that my team is weak to hazards. It's it's really not weak to hazards. Like I have double magic art users. I've got a Keldeo. I've got a Mega Aggron. I've got a Garchomp. Like the only thing weak to rocks on my team at all is the Entei. Um, you know, so he's he's got the rocks there for the Entei potentially. Uh, Celesteela, a little bit of a threat. I'm not sure what kind of set it would want to be. Probably defensive based on the look of his team. Uh, you know, Brizion's probably Z move is what I would imagine based on uh, what it what it could be. You know, his Volcarona can't be Z. Latios might be Z too. Uh, although the Latios is the only real form of removal on the team, Volcarona can defog, but it's not going to want to defog for itself. Um, you know, Primarina, I'm definitely expecting a Specs variant, kind of just butt blast, ass ass blast me, honestly. And the Volcarona, I definitely expect a Quiver Dance variant with Bug Buzz for sure. It's definitely going to have Bug Buzz for the Runiclus. Um, potentially some form of fire. It's got to have a fire move for Aggron. And then I don't know what his last move would want to be. Maybe like Psychic to hit the Keldeo. Um, so it might be a little bit walled by the Suicune. Or maybe Giga Drain actually for Keldeo and Suicune. That might make a lot of sense too. Um, you know, it's potentially walled by the Entei uh, if he doesn't have Psychic. Or like HP Rock or I don't know, HP, sorry, HP Ground actually probably makes a little bit more sense against an Entei. Um, and my team because it's going to hit me harder than HP Rock will. So, yeah, let's run through my sets then. I am an unaware Clefable designed to eat hits from the Volcarona, but mainly take on Calm Mind Latios. That's the whole idea behind it. Uh, Moonblast, Rocks, Wish, Protect. So, pretty decent recovery, and I like the idea of Wish passing into uh, into Vincoon, just because Vincoon doesn't get any recovery, because um, I'm not running Rest, obviously. And then I'm running a 4 attacks Mega Aggron with like Heavy Slam, Rock Slide, Fire Punch... Thunder Punch? I can't remember. Or Earthquake, maybe? I actually can't remember what the last move on the Aggron is there. Um, but, you know, that doesn't have any recovery either. I'm not running a Rest set. I'm not running Rocks on that. So, Wish Passing into the Mega Aggron is fairly consistent. Um, depending on what actually wants to come... Like, Wish Passing, because Celesteela is going to want to come in and Clefable, so then Wish Passing into Aggron is fairly free. Kuhn, again, I, I just said I'm, I'm Vin Kuhn. <laughs> I, I am Vin Kuhn. I'm not running a lot of speed, because I didn't need to. Uh, I'm outspeeding no speed Tentacruel, so I am running speed investment, but he's got some, kind of a whack speed gap. Uh, he's got a huge speed gap between the Vol uh, sorry Volcarona and Tentacruel, and then the Celesteela. So there's like a 40 speed point gap between um, his speed tiers there, and it makes Suicune's life a little bit easier, because it means I can run a shitload of bulk, and I don't have to run speed. Uh, Reno Clus, I'm running Culberberry for the Weavile, which didn't come. I was really expecting Weavile, because it kind of like obliterates Garchomp, obliterates Rotom Mo, obliterates the Reuniclus heavily deals with the Munchlax, which would actually otherwise be a fantastic Volcarona answer. Um, 
It can deal with the Entei to an extent, you know, knocks off uh, items and things like that. Gets rid of Keldeo's specs. Like, knockoff is just so good against my team. So, uh, I'm bringing Culberberry with HP Fighting. I didn't want to risk missing a Focus Blast, and Hidden Power Fighting allows me to hit not only the Weavile, but the Piliswine and the Sudowoodo as well. Um, I'm never clicking HP Fighting this game. I'll probably be honest with you guys. I think Psyshock and Shadow Ball are just a lot more spammable, and the only reason I would ever click Shadow Ball is against the Latios or the uh, or the Celesteel there. Um, so I'm running three attacks with Psyshock, Shadow Ball, HP Fighting, and Recover. Entei's a Bandit set with Will-O-Wisp, Extreme Speed, Sacred Fire, and Stone Edge. Stone Edge there in a failsafe against the Volcarona, although I really hope I don't have to click it, because Bandit Sacred Fire should kill it if it doesn't have bulk. I think it has to be max speed if it wants to speed tie with my Entei. I am adamant I'm speed tying modest Volcarona if he wants to be modest max uh, speed. Um, sometimes Nacho gets a little bit lazy with his EV, with his EV spreads, and he doesn't run... Uh, he, he doesn't run a boosting nature, or sorry, he runs a boosting uh, attack nature rather than a boosting speed nature. Uh, so I was sort of like predicting a modest Volker run here. And then I'm running Specs Keldeo with Secret Sword, Surf, Icy Wind, and Stone Edge. <laughs> uh, Stone Edge, again, is a failsafe for the Volcarona if it's not set up. Um, although Specs Surf is definitely a little bit more uh, investable there. You know, Specs Secret Sword kind of just blows through a lot of this team. Like I said, he doesn't have good physical... Um, physical walls on his team pretty much at all actually and spec secret sword is going to two shot the majority of his team it should three shot the primarina two shot it after rocks uh it should two shot the verizion very very easily it's a very specially bulky team overall uh, you know you look at his team latios is more specially bulky primarina is more specially bulky verizion is more specially bulky tentacruel is more specially bulky jolteon is more specially bulky um it, it's just very easy to pinpoint that he's got a physical weakness on his team it's very physically it's not physically defensive, and so I was trying to target that with a lot of the um, with a lot of the prep this week. So, starting things off here, I'm going to lead with my Kuhn. Uh, he's probably just going to lead with the Primarina or uh, or the Piliswine. I'd be fine with him leading Piliswine. I'm not super scared about rocks. I don't anticipate Entei having to come in that many times this game, um, and I can sort of just like one v one the Piliswine with with Kuhn. I end up behind a sub or the Piliswine's burnt or dead. Uh, I'll take all of those options, really, but ideally it's the Primarina, and he is going to lead with the Primarina. So, uh, this is a solid lead matchup for me right off the bat. Um, I am just going to click Protect. Or no, sorry, I actually think I clicked Toxic turn 1, because I know that I lived any Choice Specs hit, and I want to whittle this Primarina down. Primarina is actually a gigantic problem for my team, and I identified this in the Team Builder. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't bring anything to hit, hit it with. It's like Rotom Mo is my best way to hit this Mon um, super effectively, and I just didn't bring a way to hit it. So... Um, I am just going to click Toxic turn 1 as he's going to go for the Moonblast, and we will see that that is not Specs damage by any means. Um, it, it's not Specs damage. I was thinking like Scarf after turn 1. He gets the special attack drop. It's not a huge deal, just because Kuhn's not doing a lot of damage to his team anyways with Scald. Just more there for the utility of burning um, the Verizion. Is the main thing I want to get burnt, uh, is the Verizion. Um, so he is just going to stay in here as I click Protect. Uh, he might have been able to figure out that I was Vin Kuhn based on the Toxic going off turn one. Uh, and we're actually going to see these leftovers. So that helps me out a little bit in determining what he is because he's definitely not an offensive variant. He's fairly defensive variant based on what I'm seeing. Um, and I'm just going to click Sub this time. It's it's getting me back HP. He actually clicked Scald. So, um, you know, Sub was actually more efficient for me there because we saw the Moonblast was doing 41%. So I'm just kind of like essentially trying to sack my Suicune to this uh, to get to make sure the Primarina doesn't have a chance to break my team. <laughs> so I clicked Sub. He clicked Scald, predicting the switch, I think, uh, into Clefable, maybe, <clears throat> so that I would reduce, uh, get rid of the special attack drop. But uh, it was worthwhile for me because this thing is still taking more toxic damage, and I'm just going to be able to click Scald this. Oh, sorry. I click Protect to get more toxic damage on this uh, as he clicks the Parish Song, which goes through my Protect, so it was a wasted Protect turn. I would use a Parish, uh, Parish Primarina set for my Kuhn. I'm going to click Scald this turn. It does six damage to this Verzion. I was really hoping for the burn because that makes the Verzion kind of a non-threat against my team. And I actually think this is a little bit risky of a switch uh, on his part going to the Verzion. You know, I can understand why he'd want to preserve the Primarina. It's fairly weakened from the toxic damage now. You can see on your screen there, kind of behind the red logo, it's at 58% and it's taking toxic damage. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sold on this Verizion having a great matchup against me, but I, what I can do here is just uh, put this thing on a timer. Uh, so I end up going for the Toxic here as he actually goes into the Latios. Um, I get one more. Th that was my last turn before I have to swap out with the Suicune behind the Parasong. So I'm going to switch into Michael Fable on this Latios as he clicks Thunder Wave, knowing that I have to switch. 
It's pretty free Thunder Wave, and we see the leftovers on this too. So I'm whittling down the Latios, whittling down the Primarina. Um, Suicune's done a pretty good job here. I get fully paralyzed the turn, I clicked Rocks. So I clicked Rocks there for the Volcarona. Uh, I'm just going to hard Entei on the Celesteela now as he clicks the Leech Seed. Um, so I'm not actually entirely sure why he would have clicked Leech Seed. He was maybe anticipating an Unaware Clefable. Clefable hadn't taken damage. Uh, so he maybe shouldn't have done that if I was Magic Guard, but he might have also been scouting to see if I was Magic Guard or Unaware. Um, so I'm just going to bring an Entei, and again, his switch-ins to Bandit Sacred Fire just, like, kind of don't exist. Um, so, you know, the Primarina comes in, eats, but not really, and then I can kill it again. The problem is I didn't want him to bring in something um, like the Pillow Swine for free on my Entei. Um, so I'm not going to claim the kill with Entei here. I'm actually going to go hard in Michael Fable and try and get up rocks on this thing. As we see, Scalda is 61%. So <laughs> um, That's actually a little bit ridiculous. I thought I was invested specially. I'm a little bit more physically defensive for the Latios, just in case he was Psyshock. Um, sorry, Combine Psyshock, which he is Psyshock, but I, I thought he would be Combine Psyshock. So I'm going to attempt to get up my rocks here, I guess, but uh, I'm going to go for the Protect this turn. As he's actually just going to die of the Tox damage, or so I thought, uh, but I totally forgot about him having Leftovers Recovery. Uh, and now I'm going to go to my Suicune on the Scald. So uh, he makes a bad read and goes for the Scald instead of just clicking Moonblast. He, he probably thought Aggron was coming out of the Moonblast, and now his Primarin is dead. So uh, that is very beneficial to me. I will 100% take that. The problem now is that this Verizion gets to come in, and it gets to kind of set up an SD. Um, yeah, so that's really bad. <laughs> And so I'm in with Runiclus now. I'm actually going to scout for the Z move because plus two Z move will kill my Runiclus. Sorry, plus two Grass Eaten Z will kill my Runiclus, which I was kind of anticipating him to be for the Suicune. I'm not sure what he might have for this, but I am just going to scout for it and go into the Cliff Fable, I believe, because uh, I am unaware. So obviously I eat any hit as it's the X Scissor. Uh, we see that does 8% or 9%, sorry. Uh, he's pretty much like Jolly Max Tech. Um, I think he's Speed Tying Keldeo, so he's probably like no bulk. Um, which, which means I get to throw up a wish here on my Clefable. And as long as I don't get fully parried, I'm okay. Or he doesn't crit me with the Leaf Blade. Again, that's a bit, little bit of a high roll on the Jelly Leaf Blade there as he brings in the Celesteela on my Protect. Uh, and I get a ton of HP back on the Clefable, which I'm definitely okay with. Um, he knows now for sure that I'm unaware. He's going to go into Latios as I double in the Coon on his Celesteela. So again, he makes a really good read knowing that I can't stay in. And now he gets to paralyze something. So... Uh, I'm just going to let him paralyze my Coon as I'm just going to click Scald, get a little bit of a chip damage on Latios there. Uh, I want to know if this thing has Roost, and if it doesn't have Roost, I'm just wearing it down a little bit faster. Celesteel is going to come in here on my Clefable double on the Latios, so I'm getting a little bit of HP on the Clefable, but I have to go back into my Sweet Coon, and he's going to show um, the Energy Ball here as I double into Aggron, I think. Yeah, I double into the Aggron on what I expected to be a Protect, actually, with Leech Seed. Uh, and then he's just going to show the Fire Blast afterwards and blow my Aggron back. So he caught me really well there. Uh, but Entei gets to come in here and pick up a kill. So <clears throat> we see he's a little bit more of an offensive Celesteela. I definitely was not expecting Energy Ball. Um, I know I personally am a big fan of Metal Sound. Uh, the Metal Sound Giga Drain Celesteela. Because uh, Metal Sound goes behind Sub for Suicune. So you can beat the Vin Coon 1v1 and make sure that you break subs every single time with Giga Drain. I uh, can beat Crow Coon because you're reducing the special defense every single time and getting HP back from Giga Drain. Um, so that, that's my favorite Suicune answer in Celesteela, but he didn't bring that set. He brought Energy Ball instead. Uh, you know, something like Reuniclus would have been a, an all right switch into this, although I definitely don't have a good way to hit it. I didn't want to switch in Entei, um, you know, full on because this thing could definitely have Earthquake for me. But at this point, again, he doesn't have Bandit Sacred Fire switch ins. Like, they just do not exist. And he's going to go into the Latios and take a trillion. Uh, you know, that thing is getting two shot by Bandit Sacred Fire. Like, okay. Obviously, I can't stay in now, as he's going to double into the Pillow Swine on my Clefable. I, I'm actually okay with this, because I can finally get up my rocks here. You know, the Latios is at 15%. It's not going to appreciate switching into rocks. Um, it, it can live one switch into rocks, uh, but it can't live two turns staying in anymore, because of the toxic damage. Celesteela, I want to chip that a little bit. Volcarona, obviously, taking 50% is useful. Verzeon, chipping it a little bit more would be helpful for the Keldeo, uh, just in case I do win a speed tie, then I can two-shot it with uh, Secret Sword, or... Um, 
maybe put in a range where Surf can kill it, because uh, I don't see any Surf switch-ins uh, besides the Virzion. Now the Latios is whittled, so I'm just going to go for my rocks here as he gets up his rocks and I get fully paralyzed. Shouldn't end up mattering, um, although, you know, I'm a turn behind and getting up rocks. This Pulse one is hitting me a little bit harder than I expected it to. Uh, and I'm going to get fully paralyzed this turn. Or, yeah, I get fully paralyzed this time. I threw up the wish this turn, just to sort of like one view on the pillow swine a little bit, uh, but unfortunately it's not going to work out for me. And now he's going to crit my Suicune with Earthquake. As I switch in, he's going to crit me with Earthquake. Uh, I'm not sure how much that mattered. He may have just two shot me outright, anyways. And he should have been faster than me after the paralyze. Um, <laughs> but the, the paralysis into the crit there with the pillow swine kind of sucks for me. I'm going to end up clicking Secret Sword here just in case he wants to switch into the Verzion. He probably doesn't, and Spec Secret Sword will obliterate this Pillow Swine. He's going to get some chip on the Keldeo, which shouldn't matter. I die to any Verzion hit anyways, which is, I'm sure, what's coming in here. So I am just going to go for the Secret Sword, try and get some chip damage on this, as he's actually just going to win the Speed Tie. So lots of bad luck here as he ends up winning the Speed Tie against me. Um, Secret Sword would not have killed, but it would have done a large chunk, and it would have put it in range of extreme speed from Entei, which is what I want it to be in range of. The Latios, uh, basically anything faster than my Entei right now is in range of extreme extreme speed, uh, and his best way to deal with that is like go Celesteela, which is kind of whack. I don't know why you'd want to switch in Celesteela on Entei. He would only ever do that if he's actually expecting the extreme speed. I think Reuniclus is a pretty safe bet here. He's not at plus two. I know I live the Excisor, so I'm just going to go into Reuniclus and claim my kill on this Verizion. No reason not to. Nothing wants to switch him to Psy Shock, uh, and so I just get to pick off the kill there. Pretty clean and simple. Latios comes in here. I'm going to click Recover on his Defog. Um, you know, I could have definitely just killed him outright. Um, I expected the Defog. You know, it's kind of a last-ditch effort there from him, and then he's just going to T-Wave me and full parry me this turn as he dies to the Toxic. So Suicune actually gets that kill on the Latios, which is fun. And Volcarona is going to come in here. I am playing for the Para. So I am playing to not get Parried, sorry. Uh, Psy Shock into Extreme Speed will kill this. And then I can Sack Clefable and bring in Entei again on the uh, on the Celesteela and just win the game from there. But instead, I'm going to get fully paralyzed. Uh, so I have to Sack my Clefable here to the Bug Buzz. kind of sucks. Um, and now I have to go into Entei and see what he's got for me. So... Um, yeah, that's really bad luck. Yeah, you guys saw my match against TB. I had horrendous luck with hitting moves at the end of that game. And I'm really hoping that Entei does not let me down and miss the Sacred Fire here because I could be in big trouble otherwise. Uh, so I am going to live the Fiery Dance very comfortably, actually. Uh, he's not going to get the boost anyways, so I would have lived another one. And Sacred Fire kills him, and then Celesteel comes in, and I kill this too. So, um... Luckily, Ente did not let me down, and it ended up putting in massive work against his team, you know, obliterating the Primarina, whittling it down very quickly, whittling down the Latios, which did not have Roost on it very quickly, killing the Volcarona and killing the Celesteela. Um, you know, Suicune put a lot of pressure on the Primarina, Toxic, the Latios. Uh, actually, I think, did Primarina die to the Suicune too? What did Primarina die to? I think it did, actually. So Suicune put in a lot of pressure against his team here. Unfortunately, got crit. Uh, Reuniclus ended up doing some work against the Verzion there. Um, Keldeo beat the Pillow Swine. And I, I guess that was about it. So um, I'm pretty happy with how I played this game. You know, some bad luck there, but we pick up the 2 0 win over Nacho, so we move back to a positive record. Uh, I'm very happy to have played Nacho and shown off the team a little bit more. You know, Bandit Ente, kind of the standard Ente set. You guys know me, I'm not big on the standard Ente sets, but. Uh, I do like me some Entei. Next week, we take on Spex King and the London Garchomp. We've played him once before where he hacks me um, and lived a hit from my Alolan Raichu with a Zapdos, but that is irrelevant. He is the Yellow League champion from last season, and I'm looking to pull a win off of him in week three. I don't know what his record is because he's only played week one. He's 0-1 uh, after week one. I don't know what his week two match is, but yeah, we played play specs next week so keep an eye out for that and i will catch you guys next time